बड़ी खबर सामने आई है फरहान खान से जुड़ी हुई जैसा कि आप भी जानते हैं फरहान बॉलीवुड की फेमस डायरेक्टर होने से लेकर फेमस कोरियोग्राफर भी है जिनका रिश्ता सलमान खान शाहरुख खान जैसे बड़े सितारों के साथ काफी गहरा है करण जौहर से लेकर तमाम डायरेक्टर्स और फिल्मी सितारों के बीच फराहान एक ऐसा नाम है जो बॉलीवुड में तमाम फिल्मों को डायरेक्ट करने के साथ कोरियोग्राफ कर चुकी हैं। उनकी फिल्मों की लिस्ट तो काफी लंबी है और उनके सक्सेसफुल करियर को लेकर हमेशा ही बात होती है जो कई लोगों के लिए आज बॉलीवुड में इंस्पिरेशन भी लेकिन फिलहाल बात की जाए अगर फराहान खान के इस लुक की तो देख सकते हैं आप अटपटे ड्रेस में फराह खान जो पहुंची ऑथर शर्मिला रेबेरियो कुक बुक लॉन्च के मौके पर मोटापे से होने वाली गंभीर बीमारी का खुलासा करते हुए जी हां गंभीर बीमारी के बारे में फराह खान ने कहा कि ओबेसिटी जैसी बीमारी आज के टाइम पे कॉमन है वुमेन्स में तो वही फराह खान खुद भी जो काफी ज्यादा बल्कि हो चुकी है उनका ये भी कहना है कि वो काफी फोडी है जो कि अपने शो फराहा की दावत का भी जिक्र करती नजर आई साथ में उन्होंने ओबेसिटी से जुड़ी कई सीक्रेट्स का खुलासा किया कुक बुक को लेकर खुलासा किया तो सुनते हैं उन्हें से क्या क्या कहा उन्होंने Yeah, so food wasn't good for so long already. I would have thought so. Being friends with somebody else. I think I realized that my mother has lived so long because Farah's food still is every time I'm in Bombay, she comes home for for she doesn't get the chance to come to Chennai that often. So uh, food in Bombay is still at my mom's house. So that's the blessing. Even for yesterday, I was at Aunty Ada's house. She knows all my favorites now. But yeah, food. I think cooking for friends and family. and you know making that effort whatever it's possible is a uh, really so i just love to i always uh, you know was different in the sense that i made sure like my kids birthday parties i made everything from scratch it was a challenge but you know my kids wanted to have their birthday parties at domino's pizza or or a pizza hut but i just think that they we do home home cooked and i think in, in you know in hindsight they they appreciate that uh, that was way before i i wrote my book and while i was not you know making more party kind of food But uh, so that's the whole thing about just being. So we just want to catch up with these flavors. There was a young intern who came to the office. Who bring, who bring every day these butter laden cheese sandwiches made by mother, which it, it just it changes. Yeah, I know, you know, the party that they have, the chutney sandwich, homemade chutney sandwich, and I still have that. But not that's in my book. The chutney sandwich is in my book. I still serve that at the party. Is there something about that homemade, mother made that is more delicious than? not only tasty but it also gives you a whole range of healthy of healthy food and india is amazing because you have so much variety from all over and uh, i have been exposed to actually growing up with you know gujarati in bombay with gujarati neighbors golden food punjabi friend you know farah's food and then lived abroad so my book is actually a combination of you know sensibilities and now i live in chennai for the last 20 years 
So both South India, North India, and you know we really have a wonderful uh, celebration of food in our country. So which we need to. Did Charanish has travelled all over? I think it's just exceptionally beautiful. I want to do that kind of show. As you pay me to travel and eat food every day. <laughs> I just want to say that you are all my witnesses to this. When I call up Radha tomorrow to say how we're going to be doing this. No, but then you want to just come to my kitchen and cook and all that. Take me somewhere. That will also happen. Ajah. These are not mutually exclusive yeah. things. But one thing I'd like to add, Anisha, when you talked about the family thing, I think the challenge for us new moms, not new moms, what are you? I'm a very old mother. Moms in today's world is actually getting the family to sit together at the table. It is really How many of you all sit together? Wow, that's more than me. I can't get my family to sit together. So that's the challenge which you know. But it's almost just 40%. Huh? Yeah. So 60% of us don't really come together unless it's a Sunday meal. Or and that's one of the things I'm really trying to advocate is really go back to the family meal because that's when we sit and we talk to each other, we talk about you know, whatever's happening, whether it's world events or what you did in your day and you start to appreciate food because you know my kids would ideally love to go and take their uh, food and we eat in front of the TV or in the computer or wherever but I literally have to make at least one meal a day if we're all home to say is no, you, you know food is at the table because you need to focus on your food and that becomes conscious eating because when you're sitting and doing something else you really don't know how much you're eating, what you're eating so that's, you know, that's being a role with that family table that we grew up with. So, and I think the other thing I have to touch on is, you know, just sorry, it's everything that you also accomplish. I mean, you know, I I remember when just Mocha film was releasing, like there were babies coming. What happened? Your babies? You had your babies came for one month? No, no, after three. I was three shooting months. while I was. You were shooting while still pregnant. Uh, my first and second trimester. There you go. And you you maintained this incredible pace where you're constantly doing. Actually, I'm not. I see. It looks like I'm constantly doing many things, but I take long gaps uh, between making movies and I travel at least three times a year with my kids. I know babies. That's lovely. Yeah. Farah is really. I have to share this. She's an amazing mother. I mean, it's a joy to be with her and her children. Because she's really focused on them. I mean, she has a busy life, but when she's with her children, and she makes that time. You know, she doesn't, I think, socialize as much as she, sh she can, that she can. But she really is very, very focused on her kids, and they're absolutely lovely uh, kids with, you know. Thank you. That's the best compliment I've ever learned. I think we all do. We all, that's a two compliment. One, you're looking thinner. <laughs> and one, your kids are very well behaved. <laughs> Just say it, like going forward. The first one no one gives me, so I don't know the second one. Back to the dish, just say it now going forward. Just pay the compliments, just lead with little life. I think it's an excellent. I wanted to ask, both parents have such a wicked sense of humor. Which has the great influence on them? I think, uh, you know, my kids are now become Khalifa Begum. So, you know, when they are with me, they are like their mummies, kids. And then the minute they see their father, they are the father's child. So it's it's both, but my son is definitely more influenced by my husband, I think, because otherwise he's surrounded by girls, you know, and he's seen every chick flick there is to watch. And you, of course, are surrounded by boys. She has three boys, and they're lovely, but they eat and they eat a lot. They are constantly eating, so she's like constantly cooking, and she's baking her own bread and oil. All sorts of things. I mean, they are trapping more. I have like very super children. They have gone my husband. But her children are constantly eating. So, yeah. That's the. That's, that's why my book, uh, first of all, took so long because I was trying and testing different kinds of books. And it was, uh, in Genesis actually was my son who was not, the youngest was not eating any fruits and vegetables. And when I, I used to travel for work and I'm like, far I feel, I used to, I, a lot of my work travel, I neglected my kids when they were younger. I took them when I could, but, you know, I, I, I rule travel and go on long trips. So, um, I gave up work travel when I realized my family needed Help. And that's when I uh, started to focus on healthy eating and what my kids were eating and started to cut, cut all the junk and processed food that I was buying them and started to cook from scratch and the, I become so passionate about it because the health of the family improves so tremendously. You know, that was the whole uh, kind of... Uh... Agar aap bhi manna chahate hai, anchor or reporter, video editor, cameraman, ya script writer, to hume sampas kar. 